It's more than just a cut. An exchange of bravery before bearing all. CEO Dennis has caped up to support children like Rocco. In October 2019, he was diagnosed with ALL leukaemia. He became really unwell. Um, obviously, that was a long journey of two years of chemotherapy, steroids, high doses. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, ups and downs in that journey. Now in remission almost five years later. I soon learnt it's not all over. Um, dealing with things like the trauma issues, behavioural issues, academic issues, um, eating issues. There's so much behind it that I don't think people are aware of and only the families that go through it with their children understand. The eight-year-old and his hairdresser mum today doing the honours. In the last 10 years, blood cancers have gone up 47%. And if I can do something today, it all helps. And there's currently over 135,000 blood cancer survivors in Australia today. Dennis proud to play his part. We can get involved in lots of charities, but this one really resonates with us. The idea of research that needs to be done and also the ongoing care of the patients. This year's World's Greatest Shave campaign ends on Sunday. Olivia Blunden, Win News. Coming up next on Win News Central West, a Raiders legend kicks off the NRL season with a new coin collection from The Mint. Plus, a turning green leaf byproduct into a sustainable plant protein source. It's an Olympic year, so OK. France, four great nations taking on the greatest nation on Earth. The green and gold. Uh, actually, that's 24 bright yellow. It, no, it's, it's... It's gold! Australia versus the world. New Lego Masters, soon on 9 and 9 now. Explore the world with Viking. No kids and no casinos. Hurry. Explorer sale offers must end March 28. Book now to receive up to $3,000 flight credit per couple on ocean voyages. Call 138 747 or visit your Viking agent. Wrangling your mates on a day at the races isn't always easy. But with sports bets bet with mates, at least having a punt together is. Nobody does group betting easier than sports bet. What's gambling really costing you? Where to from here? Will your life ever be the same? Are you getting what's fair, not just what's offered? Talk to Slater and Gordon, and we'll take it from here. The original series that started it all. Your favourite characters in one of Australia's most loved dramas, The Flying Dogs Complete Series. Order at CrawfordsDVD.com.au or free call 1-800-597-996. Now's the time to move during the LDV 2023 plate clearance. Get the 7-seat D90 SUV from just $34,990 drive away for 80 and holders. Visit an LDV dealer to test drive the D90 today. LDV, bring it on. Digital marketing is not our forte. To be able to trust local search with our online presence is peace of mind for a business owner. We saw a rapid increase in sales. To have the help of local search has been incredible. Are you in need of a removalist? From small to medium to the very large removals, Davis Removals has all the moves Australia-wide. Contact davisremovals.com.au for stress-free removals. That's davisremovals.com.au. Our bathroomware stock is overflowing at Beaumont's, so we're pulling the plug. Save on bathroom packages. Take up to 30% off all bathroomware, like exclusive Timberline Vanity, 30% off. You'll be happy you chose Beaumont's. Beaumont's. You're watching Channel 9 across regional Australia on the Wind Network. A shocking new report revealed over one in six vaccinated Aussies came down with long COVID after being infected in the Omicron wave. An ANU researcher studied 11,000 people previously not exposed to the virus to assess the impact on health services and return to work or study. 18% of participants reported suffering long COVID symptoms three months on from the initial infection, with women facing the greatest risk. In general, I would say it affects a considerable number of people in Australia. 
And uh, we also highlighted that the general practice play a major role in managing uh, the burden of long COVID. Planning is underway for a six-month follow-up to study the ongoing impact of long COVID. The way we get our protein is changing, with one company looking at leaf sources to generate food products, animal feed and packaging material. The Leaf Protein Co is working with farmers to reduce green waste while giving plants a new purpose. With a little bit of green comes a whole lot of protein. A product developed in Biloela is using locally grown plants such as leucina and alfalfa to generate a sustainable source of protein while potentially seeing fewer synthetic ingredients used in processed food. But it's actually non-allergenic, highly sustainable and really, really nutritious compared to a lot of these seed proteins. And it works through the leaf's life cycle. If it's green, it's photosynthesizing, converting sunlight into energy for the plants and to do that it needs a specific set of proteins. A leaf protein is actually the most abundant protein in the entire world because it's in everything that's green and growing. Working with businesses from farmers to food brands, Connor and his team hope to reduce green waste while introducing a new product to the market. One use includes producers swapping a different protein out for this one for livestock. We're exploring options to use it as an additive in our stock feed. It's a good source of protein. Added benefit in our feed, cost of effective and hopefully if it can present and be more palatable it'll be better. This is one of the fields where the company harvests. The team comes out early in the morning and within 15 minutes of being cut the fresh material is delivered back to the facility where the extraction process begins. We can use crop waste, things that are being grown and not used, like carrot tops, sweet potato vines. We can use well-understood crops like alfalfa, barley and oats, or we can use resource tolerant species, things that grow in salt or drought environments. We're either making use of stuff that hasn't been made use of before, or we can make use of things that are really efficient in the way that they grow. Amy Figueredo, Win News. Two young coin collectors had stars in their eyes meeting their NRL hero today. Raiders legend Jared Croker swapping the football field for a store counter to help launch the Royal Australian Mint's latest set. The limited edition release features a specially designed $1 coin for all 17 teams celebrating kickoff of the NRL season. The collection holding a special meaning for the Canberra-based team. Having the Royal Mint here, it, um, it obviously makes it that little bit more special for us. So um, I think fans will jump on board and uh, we'll look forward to it. Like most Aussie kids, Croker still remembers his first trip to the National Institution over two decades ago. I think it was a school visit around, would have been, because I was from Goulburn, so we, we got to come over to the Mint, I think it was year three or year four, so a long time ago now for me, but um, that was my first, first memory of it. Keen fans can complete the collection with a pair of $2 coins, each featuring an NRL or NRLW Premiership trophy. Music lovers are travelling from across the country as the National Folk Festival returns for the Easter long weekend. Volunteers busy putting the final touches after two weeks of preparation, transforming Exhibition Park into a colourful oasis. Organisers expecting around 50,000 festival goers through the gates with a reimagined layout to improve accessibility. Increased ramps, every venue is accessible. We have a multi-faith room because we're in the middle of Ramadan. We have a sensory room for people with sensory disorders. And we have walkways so that people in motorised wheelchairs can get to our uh, venues. The lineup features hundreds of artists playing across five stages over the long weekend. Festival goers encouraged to use public transport when travelling to Epic. Sport is next with Tim Robinson and Robbo, the Dragons, to welcome back one of their enforcers. Yes, yeah, Sarah, that's right. Harme Sele back in the Red V after more than five years away. And one of the favourites warms up for the finals night at the Bathurst Gold Crown Carnival. They say the days are long, but the years are short, ponders Prisha. Day is really on. She sometimes misses the freedom before kiddos. The spontaneous road trips with her hubby are all on pause. They are so on pause. The upside, she has everyday insurance from Woolworths. Drive less, pay less cover, tailored to how far she drives these days. Not far. And she gets 10% off a Woolworths shop every month. It's the small victories, people. <laughs> Make your insurance count. Make every day count. The night of the hayride The way that we hug To try to keep warm Taking a sleigh ride 